Hey y'all, welcome to Straight Hood, five ingredients or less. So today, I'm gonna make me some fried steak. You know how they make the country fried steak, that is. Okay, now all I need is the pepper. I already rinsed my cube steak off. I'm gonna pepper it like that with some pepper. Okay. Then I'm going to use just some garlic powder on it. And I want to do it all like that. And I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing. Okay. Now. Once I get my seasons on nice and good. Then my next step is I got some milk. Just plain milk about a cup. I'm going to dump this in the milk, and I'm going to put this in all-purpose flour. That's all I'm going to do. Now, I already put some grease in my pan so it can heat while I'm doing this. I'm going to put it in there and soak it on in there, and I'm going to put it in the flour. So this is my makers of my country fried steak, y'all. And I'm just going to let it make sure it's fried real nice and good. Just like that. Just to make sure it's all packed in there. Just like that. I'm going to do it now. Put it in there. This milk. And I'm going to put it in that flour. Just like that. Now, some people use egg, you know, to do it. You can use your egg. You can have your breadcrumbs, however you want to. Take this, and I'm going to bring it to the stove right here. And I'm going to place it in here because it's nice and hot. Let that cook just like that. And wash my hands. Now, you can do them two and three at a time. I'm just trying to do it once at a time so I can take my time and get it all done. Now, you want to let this cook for like two minutes on both sides. This nice. Let it all cook on up. That way y'all can have some country fried steak. I'm going to turn it. See, we got to get blip round in there. So you're going to let it, like I said, cook. And it's going to cook up and cook up. And as they cook, they'll start browning and they'll get done like this. Take them out. They're nice and crispy, just like that now. I'm just going to keep on playing with it while I'm talking to y'all. Now, that right there is part one of your country fried steak. Now, without that, you need some gravy. So, what I'm doing is, I'm going to make some gravy. And I'm going to put it right here. Now, if you get these little gravy packs, it'll be a lot simpler for you to make your gravy on. All I do is pour the gravy pack in there like that. And I got this box of 2% milk. Let me turn over my meat because I know it should be about done. Oh, yeah. Just like that. I take my 2% milk and I just start pulling it in the gravy. Just like that. So I can start thickening up. You're going to pour actually about a cup. Almost two cups. And you're going to keep on stirring. And you're going to keep on stirring it like that. And 
And as long as you keep stirring it up, it's the thicker it get. Like this. See how this start getting nice and thick. And you can keep on adding milk. You know, so you want it thick, you want it thin, however you might want it. Like that. Now. We about done with this nice steak. Let's look at it. Make sure it's all good. Oh yeah. Just like that, y'all. Alright. So here we got. Let me get a plate to show y'all how we're gonna play this. And we're going to plate it just like this. Come on, Keontae. We're going to plate it with our country fried steak. Mm-hmm. Then, we're going to get us, stay right there, Keontae, for me, some mashed potatoes. And we're gonna get our gravy, y'all. Nice, thick, country fried steak, mashed potatoes with gravy, y'all. Now make sure y'all come back to Straight Hood. And I'm gonna show y'all some molded things that y'all can make. See you.